My name is Rose Schooler. I'm the Vice President of the Strategy and Technology Office at Intel within the Internet of Things group, and we're a founding member of the IIC. So the Internet of Things, when was your aha moment when you thought there may be something here? So if you can afford me a little opportunity to talk a little bit about my history, um, I was actually at Intel uh, running uh, the networking group for over a decade. And I was in a situation where I was having a mentoring discussion with my former manager, um, who was Doug Davis, the senior vice president of the Internet of Things group. And I was talking to him about how exciting it was to have been involved in the transformation of the market segment in networking with things like network function virtualization and software defined networking. And then he started to explain some of the dynamics about the Internet of Things, the number of connected devices, the opportunity to really extract information out of these devices, and how it was affecting many vertical markets. And that's when I had my aha moment. I really, really enjoy and I'm very passionate about driving transformation in industries. And this was that unique opportunity to transform just about every industry in the planet. Well, let's talk a little bit about transformation then. What would be some good examples of best practices for putting IoT to work? So if we look at what, what we see as an opportunity in IoT, the historical implementations, and there are implementations of IoT today, have been very vertical and proprietary in nature. And when you reflect on some of the other industries that have had those similar characteristics, you think about the original compute technologies. You think about the server that was very proprietary. You think about networking and storage. They were very proprietary. And what did we do? What were some of the fundamentals? We basically looked for an opportunity to create horizontal, open, standards-based practices and implementations within those industries. Now, when we looked at that scenario within our IoT, what we found is many times the sensor technologies themselves are proprietary and specific to the use case or the industry. We found that the applications that you may want to run are very specific to the industry. But the 60 to 70% in the middle, where you identify the device, you connect it, you provision it, you have security from the sensor to the through to the application and on the data itself. And the ability to, to understand that data, normalize it, and analyze it could be somewhat horizontal in nature. So we believe, and I believe, that the best practices are based on those horizontal, open, standards-based implementations, allowing for differentiation for the specific verticals. And it seems that up to this point in time, companies are developing in silos because they feel like they're going to get some sort of proprietary advantage or they have a unique way of doing things that could be used as a competitive advantage. How does that balance with using something that's horizontal, using something that's open? Won't companies have to trade away some of their intellectual property or internal IP? So I'm, I'm going to answer that in actually two domains. Um, the first, as I acknowledge, there's absolutely going to be use case and vertical specific attributes to the implementation. Uh, so whether it be the sensor or the application itself, those will still be, be pretty unique and create an opportunity for differentiation. What I also would like to acknowledge and really start pe have people start thinking about is we're going to migrate into a really kind of different world you're going to see business model transformation, not only implementation transformation. So you see people that maybe used to be something like a tire maker be looking at, okay, now I have potentially information on utilization, wear rates, temperature, um, implementation of tires, and does that data have value? And I think as people start to look at extracting the data off the what they used to implement as a thing or a device will create new opportunity for new monetization strategies and new business models. Along those lines, the transformation of business is going to also have to happen. So this takes us to the Industrial Internet Consortium. What is the vision of the IIC 
and where does Intel want it to go from here? So if you go back to what I think are the principles of a scalable time to market, total cost of ownership, accelerated implementation for IoT, open, standards-based, horizontal platforms. So if you look at some of those attributes and you look at what the intent of the IIC is, a common architectural framework based on standards. The ability to test the various building blocks to ensure the interoperability in that open environment. Very, very critical. Test beds that are available for the validation of that interoperability, super critical. And the opportunity then to test deployments and accelerate deployments with a variety of players in a very expansive ecosystem. All of those things that I've mentioned, common architectural framework, interoperability, test beds, commercial deployment acceleration are all the intent of the IIC, which was why Intel became a founding member because of the alignment to what we believe are the critical tenets to a successful IoT deployment. Beyond being a founding member, what is Intel's role today in the IIC? So we serve a number of roles. Um, we obviously have leadership positions, uh, both from a, a technology and an ecosystem perspective. Uh, we're very involved in bringing together uh, public and private partnerships in unison with the government uh, to begin to, to test and deploy within the testbed environment uh, some of these implementations. And then obviously out of those testbed trials, if you will, we can create blueprints, blueprints that will allow uh, deployment targets to understand who the various suppliers of the building blocks are and be able to accelerate the deployment into, into commercial environments. This takes me to my next question. What is the strategic importance of an organization like the Industrial Internet Consortium for the Internet of Things? So I'm going, to, I'm going to reflect back on some of the comments that I've made. Uh, without a aggregation, a consolidation, an ecosystem of the major players coming together to tackle some of those big architectural definition problems, to define common interfaces, to join together and bring resources and technology into the testbed and validation environments, if a single company would have to go off and do that on their own, it would be financially prohibitive. It would tend to lead to very vertical type implementations and it wouldn't prove out the value of the open architecture. And I think with that is some of the strategic importance and relevance of the IIC. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.